It's hard to get up to the Alpine Chalet in winter. Snow can be more than a meter deep for months here on Mount Katschberg at 1,650 meters above sea level in the Austrian state of Carinthia. Carpenter Ernst Thaler inherited the 400-year-old chalet from his ancestors and restored it painstakingly by hand, according to age-old tradition. It used to be a cabin where herdsmen could cook and sleep, simply as protection from wind, rain and weather. The ground floor consists of a single large room, dominated by the dining table and the small kitchen in the corner. Plus, a huge fireplace, which is the heart of the chalet and keeps the entire house warm. Heating was essential because where there's no warmth, there's no life. The stoves in the chalets were always located very centrally, in the kitchen, in the living area. And to make sure very little warmth was lost, that's why the windows were very small back then. Alpine mountain dwellers can teach us how to organize life in the tightest of spaces. Every free surface is used for storage. There's a wooden lattice above the stove for hanging out washing. And the dining table with its splayed legs offers room for everyone. The frame was built with slanted legs, so people would have room for their legs when they sat there. The drawer is very special. Most drawers were made of Swiss pine, because the essential oils in the wood repelled vermin. The many loving details are another reason Ernst Thaler and his wife Ulrika feel so comfortable in this alpine chalet. The walls have decorative patterns carved into the plaster. Ulrika Thaler has hung dried herbs everywhere. This is lavender. This is lavender. It has a calming effect. If the scent is too intense for some people, they can remove it. But I find it very soothing. When Ernst Thaler took over the chalet, it was very run down. Except for the 17th century wooden beams, little in the interior was still intact. Then I started to restore everything. I tried to preserve the old features and supplement them with new ones. He spruced up the bathroom with stones he found in the mountain pastures. And he converted the old stable facing the chalet into a sauna. In the chalet's upper story, there are three simple bedrooms. But in the winter, it's better only to sleep in the one that's right above the stove on the ground floor. Well, the bedroom for the parents with their small children was always above the kitchen, because heat rises, and that way they and their children could keep warm. But Ernst Thaler feels best on the balcony. From here, he has a glorious view of the Catchbag's winter landscape. Fresh air, water and trees are really important to me. They provide grounding for me. I'm at home here. That's life for me. I calm down and I'm at peace. The Alpine Chalet on the Catchberg. A place where you can live comfortably even in the severest of winters, far from civilization, in complete harmony with nature. <laughs> <laughs>